Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Florida's Board of Governors were told statistics show women graduates make less than their male counterparts a year after leaving school. Board member Ed Morton suggested teaching salary negotiating skills for women, but also said the gap may be genetic. The women are, are given, maybe some of it is genetic, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know the difference. Morton, appointed by Governor Rick Scott, was quickly condemned by the governor in a statement issued by his press secretary. As a father of two daughters, the governor absolutely does not agree with this statement. Morton has since apologized, issuing a statement but refusing interviews. He says in part, I chose my words poorly. My belief is that women and men should be valued equally in the workplace. This controversy comes after legislation failed in the 2017 regular session that attempted to close the wage gap between men and women. I want my whole damn dollar! More women than men graduate from Florida's universities. Still, women's starting salaries are $5,500 less than that of a man's. Dr. Wayne Hopewater, a professor of organizational behavior at FSU, says the gap is more likely a result of women choosing professions that pay less. Whereas you still have a large section of young men who are also in the business school and in engineering. Dr. Hopewater also says research shows women oftentimes are better prepared and better equipped for situations like negotiating salaries. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.